There they are. Which must mean they took out every one of the exorcists who went after them. Hey, I told them not to bother. Now how did that sword of yours turn out? <laughs> Fine, I'll find out for myself. Rokuro, we can handle the exorcists. Go and find your victory. Thanks. All right, let's get down to business. You better not die too quickly on me. I want this to be fun. Come on, bro, don't hold back. Shut up, don't play games with me. Ooh, those are some fine-looking swords you got there. Take a good look, because they're going to cut you down. Yeah, that's right. Get into it. Keep it up. I love it. Not bad at all, but I'm not done yet. You put up a good fight. I'll give you that. But you're a freaking demon. Shouldn't you bring more to the table than pretty damn good Rongetsu style? You don't have what it takes to win against the rightful heir. Don't count me out. Just yet! I've got something to show you! Take that! What? <laughs> now that was clever! Giving up one of your own hands to go for my neck! If I was just a second slower, I'd be dead now. I like it. This is what I've been looking for. Alright. Let's call it good here. Listen up! If you don't want any hope of beating me, come find me once you're more skilled and better armed. <sighs> I'll cut you down. No matter how many times I lose. No matter how many years it takes. <sighs> there we go. That's the face I'm looking for. So vicious. It's perfect. <laughs> What is wrong with him? Shouldn't you be more worried about your own skin? The entire Abbey knows by now that you're a traitor. That guy, he was really strong. Yeah, he was. They all are. But we will beat him if we must. No matter what it takes. The Von Alti is here. Let's get going. Please, take me with you. I'll make a sword that surpasses Stormhowl yet. I know I will. But for another blade to beat Stormhowl, its wielder must be a swordsman of unmatched skill. Hey, Aizen. Got any room on this pile of wood scrap for a suit of armor? If not, make someone wear it. <laughs> Works for me. You heard him, Kurigane. Many thanks. Okay, we're off to find Grimoire and decipher the book. You know where we're going, right, kiddo? Yeah. We're headed for the Salt Archipelago in South Gand.
Velvet's demon hand. It's such a mysterious weapon. I can only imagine how much of a threat it will become to the Abbey. This calls for a clear-headed breakdown of everything I know about it so far. It changes shape in a flash and can devour most anything. How must that feel to devour something with your hand like that? But it doesn't devour the bandages that cover it up. Maybe they're protected by some sort of special art. Likewise, the rest of her outfit can't be ignored. One would think she wouldn't want to wear such ragged clothing. Yet she clearly has no inclination of buying something new. I suppose that could be taken to mean she has some sort of attachment to it. But that top is really big for her. Like it was made for a man. Maybe she wears that outfit in memory of someone important to her. I'd better not touch it then. I know I may not look it, but I really am good at sewing. Maybe I should suggest mending her clothes rather than outright replacing them. On the other hand, that fabric looks like it would be hard to push a needle through. I could be in over my head. But the tougher the fight, the more I get fired up! Of course, Lord Artorius would probably scold me if he heard me talking like that. Who would scold you for what now? Oh! Uh, well, I was thinking about... sewing! I mean, your clothes. They're all beat up, and I thought that if I offered to mend them for you, you'd probably scold me. Wouldn't you? You'd mend my clothes? Have they been worrying you that much? I mean, not like, constantly or anything. It just crosses my mind from time to time. Are you good at it? Yes. I'm told I come across as awkward sometimes. But if nothing else, I'm good with my hands. I see. All right. If I ever need it done, I'll come to you. Good. Just leave it to me. Are you feeling all right? You're really sweating. The heat and the cold doesn't bother me at all. But you're a human, so you need to take care of yourself. And if you keep soaking in your own sweat, you'll catch a cold. Besides, I don't imagine it feels that great. You should keep washing and bathing on your own schedule, like however you did before falling in with us. Just let me know and I'll make it work, because the guys aren't considerate enough to stop and ask you if you need to. Sure. All right. Thanks. That was a surprisingly normal thing for her to say. I probably shouldn't bother with her clothes for now. We girls have to be considerate of each other.